I saw a need um, based on what I had seen from um, just the, the operators I've been working with, I mean, doing many, many workshops. People didn't understand what APNIC was, they didn't understand where to get address space from, they didn't understand where all these rules had come from. You know, they were seeing North American operators, European operators sitting on large amounts of address space and in the Asia and Pacific regions it was how did these people get all this address space and why can't we get it and how, how can APNIC make rules like this? How dare they almost? Not said, but it was certainly the implication of how dare they? And so I was doing quite a bit among the community to say, well, look, you know, it's not some people just making rules. It's all of us. We're trying to um, manage the end of IPv4 as um, carefully as we can and as fairly as we can. We need policy um, in Asia-Pacific region as well as other registry regions so that members of the internet community can um, help shape how address space and AS numbers are distributed amongst the internet industry in this region. Um, a lot of people just seem to think that the registries come up with these rules and regulations and that they cannot have V4 address space and it's somebody in some country or economy somewhere else that is saying that they can or cannot get. When in fact um, it's very important in the policy process to make sure that everybody has a say in how these um, well, unique resources are shared across the Asia-Pacific region. I, I didn't set out to head into the policy arena, I just kind of got drawn into it. I was working with service providers, network operators, who didn't understand how the policy process worked. And my experience in Europe, um, working at an ISP, understanding how RIPE-NCC policy process worked, and with um, APNIC doing kind of a rebirth in Brisbane, um, and getting that whole um, system working, um, I just got involved in it and tried to make sure that the network operators had a voice um, in some of the things that really mattered for, for the network infrastructure. The address space was kind of just left to somebody else to worry about um, until they realized that IPv4 address space was running out, um, because that's really been the, the critical one in the last decade. Um, and so trying to make sure that we had uh, a run-out process that ensured that every operator could get the you know, a last remaining piece of the pie. It was actually very, very important to ensure that the newcomers and so forth could get that access as well. And so yes, it was just purely by, purely by that accident, by, by chance, rather than setting out to be an active member of the policy development community.